What's going on? How are you guys today? I actually wanted to talk about what happened at Astro World over the weekend, which was Travis Scott's concert, a pretty famous American rapper, but I wasn't too comfortable talking about that on YouTube. However, if you guys sign up for the newsletter at frank-stefano.com, I might send it out. If enough people sign up, I'll type out what I was going to put in a video, in an email, and send it to you guys. It's really interesting and ties some uh, stuff together. Uh, but for today, it's been pretty obvious that one of the predominant goals of the parasitical elite is to eliminate small business. Two reasons. One is they need people to be dependent on the global systems, like if everyone had their own little business and we were bartering, they wouldn't have any control over us. And two, they selfishly want everything to themselves. Get rid of the competition. Since these people and groups control nearly every means of operating a business, it's basically impossible to build something without being a part of them. For me personally, they've plagiarized my years of work and many business ideas, shut down my Kickstarter, locked down my Shopify account, infiltrated my business to steal money on multiple occasions, and have resorted to petty lawsuits. And I didn't really have a way out of any scenario. It was so insane, I thought I was the crazy person. I mean, I was being lied to and gaslit by people I trusted initially. Calling out the copying and plagiarism of my businesses, of my YouTube channel, only for myself to be censored further, and those scumbags are still being promoted by the algorithm and growing, Asking other content creators, content creators, and lawyers for help with my Kickstarter being shut down, only to be ignored and shunned. Then countersuing these degenerates, only to be jerked around by lawyers and the legal system they own. The answer to all of my problems has been simple. I'm not in the club. And naming who they are is relatively pointless. Everyone knows they're evil. What does need to be pointed out is how virtually every single business, especially successful ones, are part of the parasitical elite. Only a handful of small businesses like my own have been fortunate enough to either be in the right mindset or have come across the correct knowledge in order to be successful. Now that's where Amazon and these other companies come in to attempt to get rid of people like myself and the few businesses that are left. The average person even most of my viewers probably believe Jeff Bezos, Jeff Bozo, is the CEO of Amazon and created it years and years ago. <laughs> I'm laughing because in a video he says, oh, this is my sign where I spray painted Amazon and it's this like white plasterboard sign with, it's completely ridiculous. One man, especially that twerp, would not be able to build such a huge empire. There are dozens, if not hundreds, of his fellow secret society members working with him. They want you to believe that fabricated story because it's far more beneficial to them to have one person in the public eye. Think about it. Hundreds of billions, if not trillions of dollars being made on Amazon, do they want you to know that the evil 1% is behind Amazon? No. They just pop up some dummy to take all of the fire. Same thing with Bill Gates and the shit they throw at him about the shots and more recently the farmland he's purchasing. It's as fake as these cryptocurrency stories. They pick a guy to be their front man, make some stuff up, everyone believes it. They're pulling the strings to manipulate the masses. I mean the craziest part about it is all they have to do is publish a few fake news articles and edit some Wikipedia pages and then that solidifies their made up bullshit. Even if it's about some like the most popular cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, a few quick Google searches and you realize it's a fucking pyramid scheme. I think the majority of the United States buys virtually everything on Amazon. Just type in whatever they want to get it to their doorstep in two days. Since Amazon is so big, they're able to have comparable prices to other businesses with the benefit of being an all in one shop with incredibly fast shipping. Now, yes. Other businesses are listing their products on Amazon. It's not technically Amazon selling most things. Amazon is a middleman, although they do have quite a bit of their own products and brands under their own name. Thing is, 
all of those businesses that are listed on Amazon that are actually making money are in the club. Their owners being secret society members and Amazon takes a percentage of the profit and it goes lower the more they sell, which is bad for a smaller business, which is part of the reason all of my products on my personal websites are actually cheaper than the Amazon alternative. Not only do you have to pay more for the product, the reason for that is because Amazon wants to make more money and the small business is less. I mean, this is something I've wanted to talk about for a while. I just didn't think it was that interesting of a video uh, because I tried listing my products on Amazon. It took me months to even get the business approved. And in that time, I saw other businesses mimic my products, get on Amazon and sell tens of thousands making God knows how much money. Even when I did get my products listed, oh, finally I'm on Amazon. Maybe I can make some decent money. I've sold a total of five orders in the past six months. <laughs> it's pathetic. Just like all of the social media algorithms, even YouTube, Amazon has their own algorithm that controls who gets to sell products. You don't simply get on Amazon and start making millions of dollars like these secret society scumbags. And even if I did get on Amazon and sell a decent amount of products, they're taking at least 25%, one quarter of the sale price. Your profit margin is virtually gone unless you mark the products up substantially like everyone else does to make up for Amazon's greed. So it's like they're all working together to have a platform where they can sell their stuff and then how is anyone else supposed to function? As I mentioned earlier, I've been fortunate that I've worked very hard to build my YouTube channel and through that I launched my businesses and I have a very trusting and loyal customer base. But um, I mean, at this point in time, you guys see, you know, the reason I'm killing myself so much is because I have 19 different businesses and things I'm trying to do just to grow. But it's really because I'm stuck with the current platforms I have. And um, I don't, I don't, I don't want to focus on too much negative and go into that because I haven't thought it through too well. But uh, as I said earlier, Sign up for that newsletter on frank and um, and I'll, I'll send you guys that email about the Travis Scott stuff. So uh, thanks for joining me, guys. Uh, if you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. On frank you'll also see all of my businesses through which you can support me with. But thanks again, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow.